Welcome to Runegistics, where I make fast guides that cut straight to the point and help you get your OSRS tasks done as quickly as possible. Today's walkthrough is for Tale of the Righteous. This guide applies to no restriction accounts as well as Iron Man accounts. Feel free to follow the inventory tracker, pause points, pre-fight indicators, and transport indicators at your leisure. Before beginning this quest, you'll need to have previously completed X marks the spot and client of Karend. Completion of this quest will require 16 strength, 10 mining, and 20% Shazian favor. If you don't have the 20% favor, don't worry, we're gonna go over it soon. To complete this quest, you'll need the following tradable items. You should take the time to gather the following materials prior to beginning this quest. As a note, having an anti-poison is only recommended, but I would personally make sure to have one as you'll be running through and fighting lizards men during this quest and will almost certainly be poisoned. As this guide is Iron Man friendly, we will quickly cover a path to gather all the required items in the next section. We'll also take a quick look at Shazy in favor. Fortunately for Iron Man, most of the items you should already have. A pickaxe, ranged weapon, and ammo, and runes should be relatively straightforward. Same with the rope and anti-poison, but if you don't have these, you can buy a rope in the little shop of Horus in Hosidius for 22 GP and can make an anti-poison potion with only 5 herb lore using an unfinished Marantel potion and ground unicorn horn dust, which there are unicorn spawns northeast and southwest of Hosidius Town Square. Also, if you're like me and don't do your Karen favors unless you need to, you might need to get 20% Shazy in favor. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Initially, the only way you can do it is healing wounded soldiers in the infirmary in Shazy. To do this, head over to the infirmary and grab an inventory full of med packs. They're scattered in small boxes all over the area, so just go ahead and fill up your inventory. You can also bring some stamina potions if you'd like, but it's not required. From there, talk to the soldiers to automatically use the med packs on them and heal them. Each soldier healed grants 0.2% favor, and the soldiers can be healed again each minute or so. Basically, all you need to do is just keep running into each tent and talking to them. You don't need to respond to the dialogue, you can actually move to the next as soon as you see the favor increase. A helpful thing to have for this is the NPC indicator plugin for Rune Light, active with the wounded soldiers highlighted, so you can easily click from one to the next. Refill your inventory with med packs and keep healing until you hit 20%. As a note, you can optionally kill lizard men for favor once you hit 5%, but I personally wouldn't recommend it. This only takes about 15 minutes or so, it's really quick. The following transport methods and spells are helpful to have to make completing this quest faster. The ability to use the Lova Kenge minecart network and a charged Xerix talisman, with teleportation to Mount Quito Mortem unlocked. Again, if you don't have them, not absolutely necessary. Admittedly, during this walkthrough I use neither of these, but they can help speed it up a little bit and I'll make sure to mention when they are helpful during the walkthrough. As always, the inventory tracker will be on screen throughout the walkthrough and update as the quest progresses. There is one NPC to defeat during Tale of the Righteous, a level 46 corrupt lizard man who can and probably will poison you. The fight itself is very simple, but the poison can be annoying afterwards. In this video, the walkthrough is completed using graceful gear. You need to kill the corrupt lizard man, which is not an intense fight. It's recommended to use lightweight or weight reducing equipment to optimize pace, as well as bring a weapon of your choice to kill the NPC. I used range to defeat the lizard man in this video. Feel free to utilize the chapters in the video timeline to navigate to whichever section of Tale of the Righteous you are working on. Here is the optimal starting inventory for this quest, as well as the nice to haves, which will remain on screen and continuously update. To begin this quest, speak to Phileas Remor in his house in Shazian. Accept the quest where he will tell you to travel to the Arceus Library. Head over there and teleport to the archive area by talking to Archeo. Once there, speak to Pegida, who will teleport you to a prison with a strange device in the middle of the room. You have to move this device and attack it in a very specific pattern. Doing the correct pattern each time will result in one of the crystals turning white, which will help you know you've done the right step. So follow along with me here. First, push the device as far west as you can. Then, move to the north side of the device and attack it using a magic spell. Then, move to the south side of the device and attack it using melee. Then, push the device as far east as you can and move to the south side of the device. Attack it using ranged. If you've done this properly, the northern gate should open and you can inspect the skeleton inside and read some writings on the floor. At this point, return to Phileas and Shazian and let him know what you found. He will tell you to talk to Lord Shazian in the encampment, just northeast of Phileas' house. Make your way to him on the second floor of the war tent. Once you exhaust his dialogue, you'll be heading to the top of Mount Quita Mortem. Here's the path to take. Be cautious because you will run by lizardmen on the way which can poison you. Once you make your way to the top, speak to Historian Duffy in the tent on the eastern side of the mountain about the note you found earlier in the quest. Also speak to the mountain guide around here so you can fast travel back to Shazian later. At this point, head west until you find a crevice and use your rope on. 
on it. Climb down the crevice and into the cave. Mine the first boulder with your pickaxe and push the second. Keep moving down the hallway until you encounter a corrupt lizard man, which you must kill. It's a super simple fight as the lizard man is only level 46, but he does poison, which can be annoying. Having your anti-poison handy will be helpful. Kill the lizard man using whatever combat style you prefer. Once done, inspect the unstable altar past the gate. Once complete, head back to Historian Duffy the same way you came. Tell him what happened and he will tell you to go back to the altar. Head back there and speak to him again, where he will tell you to speak to Nosi. She will give you some lore talk related to this quest. Once her dialogue is done, head back to Lord Shazian. A quick way to get back there is to head over to the mountain camp and talk to the mountain guide, who will transport you to Shazian. Go talk to Lord Shazian, who will want proof of what you told him. Then head to Phileas' house, where you will see he is missing. Head back to Lord Shazian one more time and talk to him, which will then complete the quest.